Hello and welcome to my week in the life. My name is Yusuf, I'm an Oxford medical student and a part-time powerlifter. If you're new here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and leave a like. It's the best way of letting us know that you're enjoying these videos. This was my first week of OBS and Gynae and it was hectic. Because the placement is in Reading, the medical school gives us free accommodation. On Monday, we had an induction showing us around the hospital and also seminars which built on the lectures we had the previous week. We were given a rotor for the next few weeks and I was assigned to the labour ward for the first few days. So I've just come back from placement and today was crazy. I'm feeling quite tired. The day started off with being paired up with a midwife, pregnant woman and her husband who'd come in and the machine could tell you her contractions, but actually you didn't need it because you could literally see these really strong contractions. I came back from lunch and by that time her waters had broken and she was getting really, really close to giving birth. The midwife I was with was super, super nice about it. She actually taught me how to deliver a baby and that's what I was able to do, to be the first person to hold this baby, taking its first breath. That was a cool experience and definitely one that I'd never forget. For dinner, I made a stir fry and then after that, went to my local gym. It'd been a while since I last trained because of summer holidays, but it felt so good to get back into it. I was quite gassed because I was able to pull 200 quite smoothly, but I did make a racket on the way down. I followed this up with some bench and some accessories and that was me done for the evening. Today I was in the maternity assessment unit and in the afternoon I went over some flashcards on Anki to consolidate the cases I saw. I also had calls with a few teammates of the aspiring medics including Arisma who you'll recognise from our previous videos. The thing we were going to talk about is webinars. Um, what were your thoughts for webinars? If you're applying to medical school, don't forget to sign up to our free online work experience course. Link is in the description below. In the evening, my friends and I went to this local burger place, which was spenny, but it was pretty good. Probably from the burger and tiredness, the next morning I was feeling slumped, so I had my usual breakfast, which consisted of a Huel protein shake. It was then another day of taking histories from patients, examining them and going over flashcards. I followed my usual routine of gym in the evenings and the next day I travelled back to Oxford to have a tutorial in the John Radcliffe Hospital. Oxford is well known for its tutorial system and essentially they are academic conversations that you have with an expert in their field where you can go through anything that you didn't quite understand. After the tutorial I grabbed a snack and headed back home. It was the start of the weekend and I couldn't wait for it. It was a sunny Saturday afternoon and I headed into central Oxford to meet some friends. We queued for about an hour for a free donut. We found somewhere to sit and being honest, the donut looked better than it tasted. I headed into the Bodleian Library, which is right by the Radcam to get some work done. The Bodleian is my go-to library and one of the oldest in the whole of Europe. I spent the afternoon going over my Anki flashcards. Let me know down in the comments below if you'd like to see me do a video on Anki. Okay guys, so I've just finished from the Bodleian Library, they closed at four, so I'm now going to my college and it's Green Templeton College and you'll soon see why it's called Green Templeton College in a bit. Okay, so here we are. This is the Radcliffe Observatory quarter here and I'm now going to go into college. I then headed up to the common room to do a little bit more work before the formal dinner later on that evening. The common room has really comfy seats and what I love most is the free hot drinks machine. After a cappuccino and finishing the remainder of my donut, I cracked on with some work. People think Oxford is work, 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 but if you manage your time, you can definitely have a social life and play uni sport. After a quick change, I met up with some friends and we went to the college dinner. Exciting news! Dinner is ready to be served! So if you would like to all come into the dining room, dinner shall be served! Thank you very much! <laughs> Formal dinners at Oxford tend to be quite chill. You're guaranteed to get some good food and if you're with great company then you'll have a fun evening. For the main we had spiced cod with chickpeas and for dessert we had creme brulee. To end off the formal we all went upstairs for some coffee and chocolates. And that brings me to the end of this week in the life. I hope you've enjoyed it and don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more day in the lives coming soon. See you in the next one.